you own a silhouette or even a Cricut, chances are very high that you've made a sheet of stickers before. Stickers are fun and popular and cute and all of the things, so it's no mystery as to why we all love them so much. Today we're going to be talking about a super simple way that you can elevate your sticker game. You're not going to want to miss it. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette and you've found your way to Silhouette Success. I do hope you're going to join our little community. Just hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell to stay in the loop. We put out weekly tips, tricks, tutorials, all of the things. This is a short tutorial. It's packed with a ton of information, so I'd love for you to stick around. But first, I need to let you know that Terry Johnson of Terry Johnson Creates is hosting her All Things Silhouette Conference November 15th through 17th, and I am going to be teaching a class or I'm so very excited. This is my favorite event of the year. In fact, I will be sponsoring this event with a portrait for, and all of the participants in the conference are going to have a chance to win it. Super excited, I cannot wait. There is a link to purchase the tickets in the description of this video. There are also links over on my Facebook page if you want to follow me over there. Now let's get into the information in this video. You can use it for more than just stickers. Keep that in mind. We're working today on creating a custom fill color palette. I want to go over the basics of color fill before we dive in. Let's grab a rectangle from our drawing tools and just draw that out. I have this set to no fill color up at the top right now. But with our rectangle selected, we can go up to this arrow. That brings up a drop down color palette and we can pick any color from that color palette just by clicking on it. The choices here are limited and there are more options if you go over to the color fill panel on the right. There are three tabs up at the top. The first one is just regular color fill. The second one is gradient and the last one is fill patterns. All of these fill patterns can be found saved in your silhouette library in the patterns folder. We're going to concentrate on the first tab today. This color palette here is the same as the color palette that you will find over here. You do have the option to adjust your transparency here and you have this slider that will adjust the color as well and you can use this grab handle drag that around and you can see that the color inside of the rectangle changes as I am moving this around. You can also enter specific hex numbers here or you can use HSL numbers or RGB numbers. So you have a lot more options when you open up the actual color fill panel on the right. Today we are focusing on creating a new color palette and we are going to call this palette Coco Snowman. If we click on the plus sign, that's going to add the palette here. If we hover over the plus sign, the name of the palette pops up. And now we're ready to start creating the palette. And we're going to do that with the eyedropper tool. So we can click on the eyedropper, come over to our images and just start selecting colors. That burgundy red looks nice. Because the rectangle is still selected, it filled in the rectangle, but it also added this color to my recently used tab up at the top. This square over to the right is the same color as we just selected. And now we can click on the plus sign and add it to our custom palette. Let's use the eyedropper again, and we can pick up a nice brown color. It's been added here. Since it's the last color that we used, this square is filled with that color. Let's click on the plus sign, and now we have our red and our brown. If you're having trouble picking up a specific color, you can click on this icon at the top and then click on the area of your design that you want to look at, and it will zoom in on that. My eyedropper went away. Let's click on that again, select the green, 
here it is in our recently used, we can add that to our palette. I'm going to add the creamy white color here. Looks almost like a toasted marshmallow. And you can add as many colors as you'd like to your color palette. I've created a sticker set with the images. The offset is already in place. And now I can select the background rectangle and just cycle through the colors that I created. They all go really well with these stickers. And I'm going to cut out all of these in just a minute so you can see the difference and the finished sticker sheets. But you can also create text to go with your images and set those to your custom colors. It's really helpful when adding elements to a pre-designed PNG. Remember, when you are choosing colors in Silhouette Studio or any other design program for that matter, colors are going to look different on a printed page than they do on your computer screen. That's why it's important to be able to choose colors from the design that you're working with because that way in the end you know that everything is going to coordinate well. Now this video was all about the custom color palettes in Silhouette Studio, but I use the stickers as an example. If you need some assistance in making stickers or print in cut in general, you're going to want to check out this video here. Now for these stickers, I did use J&J &J packaging glossy sticker paper. They also have a matte sticker paper, which I like to use when I am using the holographic laminate. I will put all of the links in the description below if you want to check that out. I will see you in the next video and at the All Things Silhouette Conference 2024.